Hey, how's it going everybody? I know it's been a while since we posted one of these videos, but I figured today is a good day to talk about some things going on and tell you a little more about something I discussed on a stream last night and we'll, uh, we'll dive into the stream thing shortly. Uh, but today we're talking about Twitter. Twitter was hacked today and had a Bitcoin scam ran off of many verified accounts, including the likes of Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Elon Musk, Apple, Mr. Beast, and many, many more. This situation comes as something that I would look at as, why are you dumb enough to buy this? I know these people are celebrities or some sort of icons of some sort and the verified check mark you know makes it all that more believable however if you ever heard of anything growing up like the nigerian scandals where they would say hey send me some money i'm a prince in nigeria i'm in a really tough situation i'll return your money to you twofold you would ask the question what is this this seems exactly like that. Started out, I'm giving back to the community. All Bitcoin sent to the address below will be sent back double. If you send a thousand, you will receive two thousand. Only doing so within the next thirty minutes, and then it would list a Bitcoin address. Clearly, for anyone with any kind of common sense or understanding of how these scams and these kind of things have played out in the years would say, hey, this makes no sense. Why in the hell would I send you a thousand dollars? I don't care if you're Elon Musk. I don't care if you're Bill Gates. You're not gonna get my money to give me money. Get it, people? If you were stupid enough to do this, I feel sorry for you because you're not getting your money back. It is a cryptocurrency and you're shit out of luck. But I also have to tell you, I have a bridge to sell. I think you'd be highly interested in it. If you send me a thousand dollars, I'll sell you this bridge I have over here because quite honestly, you're probably gullible enough or just stupid enough to buy it. Twitter decided the way to get around this situation was to lock down all verified accounts because this attack and hack situation with the scam seemed to be only coming from verified accounts. So those blue check marks that everyone laughs at and makes fun of seem to get a little bit of their own medicine by having their accounts shut down and not being able to tweet for a good hour or so at least. As of about an hour ago when this situation came to light, it was at $50,000 to $75,000 paid into this scam and lost. That's how many transactions there were. And seems like these people will, well, be without their money. Whoever, whoever ran this scam, you got it. You, it was a, I gotta say, it was a very difficult scam if you think about it, because they had to get a hold of Twitter accounts, specifically verified accounts, to make it more viable, and then send out the tweet <laughs> with a Bitcoin address and get idiots to buy into it. I don't know. Seems like it worked. Made 75000 at least as of an hour ago. Now, as I was talking about when I first opened the video, um, yesterday night on stream, I was playing some video games and I was telling, uh, viewers who were watching about the situation that occurred yesterday, um, uh, early morning where between, you know, 6 PM the previous day and, you know, 7 AM the following morning, my vehicle was stolen. Yes, that's right. My car was stolen. Now today it was recovered. Now, super excited they got my car back. No damage. The person just drove it and then stole my A6400. 
the Sony I had just picked up recently to shoot video, uh, my laptop, and some other stuff. But that pisses me off well enough, but I have renter's insurance, so I'm covered. No worries. I'll get that figured out. What pisses me off more is the city has a standard on stolen vehicles. When they recover a stolen vehicle, they have a policy of notifying the owner if it's drivable before they have it towed. Now, with all of this stuff going on in the world, cities aren't making as much in parking violations because a lot of them have turned it off just like this city has. Well, they didn't notify me. So not only did I have really expensive things stolen out of my vehicle, the city also decided to steal $257 for me in order to get my car out of the tow yard. That's right. Not only did I get fucked by someone who stole my car and stole my camera, motorcycle helmet, motorcycle jacket, laptop, and God only knows what else, including the goddamn owner's manual for the car. I was the victim of the city stealing $257 from me in order to get my car out of impound. Now, I don't have to buy those things back, those cameras, all that stuff. I don't have to buy that back. But you do need a vehicle, so it's not like I could say, eh, nah, I ain't paying you $257 and fight it, because then it would just be $50 a day on top of that. So, I don't know. Really shitty last few days, um, but I do appreciate you guys watching the video. So be sure to like, share, comment, and I will see you guys hopefully this evening. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing some uh, game streaming over on 8-Bit Hooligans and on the DLive channel. Uh, I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day.